Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And I'm still an avatar today just because I keep getting caught when I'm doing housework and I'll see something that Foodie Beauty is up to. And I will suddenly think I need to just bring this to everybody's attention because it's interesting to see how she is doubling down on trying to rebrand herself again. We are familiar with Chantel, i.e. Foodie Beauty, regularly rebranding her YouTube channel page to suit the mood that she is in. So the banners seem to change when she's either trying to look as if she is following YouTube's terms of service, or she's angry at reaction channels, or she's upset about something. So these banners seem to be a flag, if you may of what mood or emotion Foodie Beauty is having on a daily, weekly basis or whatever you want to say about it because she changes them so frequently. And today I noticed because I wanted to see what harmful and potentially dangerous content she could be putting out to her channel that could trigger people who are dealing with their own issues with disordered eating. And as we know, Chantel is trying to normalize her mukbangs. She is asking for her audience to put in their comment sections why they watch mukbangs. I mean, she is doubling down on this content very, very hard. And so taking a look today, you can see that it is completely changed. She was so upset about sharing her personal details about her health and her, her life that she decided just to go hardcore on being a mukbang channel. She was just going to, you know, die on that hill, if <laughs> for want of a better term. And so she had a banner that reflected that. And so let's take a quick peek see at the previous banner, and then we'll see how it's, you know, so opposing to what she's trying to do here. So let me present that screen. Um, and why, why people say, why do you care, Ray? You're an avatar. I know I was in the midst of housework. I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I have concerns that this type of content is damaging to people and can cause a broader risk to people's health. And not because obviously we see the health consequences that Chantel has. So encouraging people and saying, I hope I make you hungry, which was one of the taglines she used. Uh, food is life, which is not what we're going to see on this other uh, screen. It, it's just, it's not very appropriate. So the other day I did a review of her channel and I took a look at her banner and it was very triggering probably for people who are dealing with disordered eating. It very clearly said uh, here, foodie beauty, mukbangs, food vlogs, food is life. I mean, here we have pictures of food everywhere. And this is a person who has openly discussed on her channel that she has disordered eating that she does not follow through with her therapy. She says she does not need therapy. She is very treatment resistant, whether it's for medical treatment and following the orders of her physicians for her unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes and the other comorbidities that she's had throughout her time being on YouTube. And there's been quite a lot of health issues that she has shared with her audience. And I'm sure there are many that she does not share. She has obviously wanted to bring this mukbang. You know, she's also spoken that she does not need therapy, that she meets once with a therapist, which is just an introduction session. But she tries to also say that, you know, she's working on things and so forth. Watching the mukbang content the size of the platter, the size of the, the, the utensils she uses, says quite a different story. It says that you have problems with disordered eating. 
And so you can see here, look at this. It was all about food, all about food from somebody who has openly talked about uh, having uh, these types of disordered eating, which people want to consume larger quantities of food at one sitting. And we will see Foodie Beauty take down a pizza in less than 15 minutes. So, and that's not how people eat normally. And you'll say to yourself, you know, what does it matter? Well, we don't want to normalize this content. We don't want people, our young, impressionable people, thinking that eating from a platter and all of these things and these types of quantities of food is normal because it's not, and it's not healthy. She has had health consequences because of her lifestyle choices, and we don't want that to be the future for other people. She is also triggering to people who are in their own recovery. So her trying to get into her comments and, and asking people why they watch mukbangs is really inappropriate, especially from somebody who is so unable to control her own eating behaviors. And so this is what she had before. This is what she had. And today, when you go take a quick peek, see, obviously we've got something different. I'll share the tab instead. What we have now is all the pictures of food have disappeared. She's taken that all away. She has taken away the food is life. She has taken away that focus. And she's literally hidden the word food between daily vlogs, videos, vlogs, live streams, and more. She's hidden that word. She was doubling down saying that she was going to be traveling and going to all these food places. And all she was going to do was share food. Well, with somebody with an disordered eating and one that you have documented in your channel, it is obviously of concern. And I have been reporting her videos to YouTube and letting them know that she is performing acts of self-injury. YouTube is very bad about following their terms of service when it comes to disordered eating. And we can only hope that those of us who are in the mental health space can just hopefully help those who struggle with these issues by trying to get this type of content potentially behind a paywall or making this type of content members only. So I just wanted to, you know, highlight that Foodie is trying to once again protect her channel from YouTube's prying eyes and ensuring that her content can pass their, you know, looks when they come to see, because I've showed quite openly how many times I've reported her content. So she's trying to clean up her channel in order to sanitize it, to get away with her very, very damaging, harmful content that she puts out. So I just wanted to finish this video out by sharing some of the comments that I've been receiving from people in my channel. And um, I hope they're okay with me sharing their comments. Um, obviously, not to go to anybody's channel or say anything, but just wanted to, to show the reason why I have started to highlight the problems with her content. I personally, even though I am a registered nurse, am not concerned about her health. She knows what her health issues are. She knows them quite well. I've had many a live stream where I have spoken about her potential for having a stroke, a potential for having a cardiac event, problems with her pancreas, problems with her unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. I've had many, many trying to show that what she does is not helpful, not beneficial to her health. But that narrative for me has now stopped. My concern is a larger audience and how her content affects them. She is her own master of her misery in my mind. And that's my opinion. So just to share a few of these that I did, I did a recent video where I talked about her removing her drama live stream. And I went through and talked about how she is, you know, how, what, kind of her behaviors throughout that video, um, how she's uh, needing a lot of validation from her audience and so forth. So if you haven't had a chance, go check that video out. So I, like I said, for those of you, um, I just appreciate the comments. I hope you're okay with me sharing this with a wider audience. 
So I had here this uh, individual says, thank you for doing this stream. I dealt with bulimia years ago and just seeing her on my timeline shoving food in her mouth every day gives me the urge to be sick. It, she is very triggering. Thank you again. Next one. The mukbangs are getting more disturbing. I don't know how she's gotten away with doing it on YouTube for so long. None of us understand. YouTube, I think, has just put those terms of service out for lip service to Congress. A couple of years ago, there were a lot of, or all of these platforms got called in about, you know, how their content, you know, with the eating, just a variety of different things is just not appropriate, that it is glamorizing uh, eating, disordered eating. It is uh, potentially influencing young and impressionable people. And, and we need to also think about how, how are we, you know, that's fine. You can put the content out there. It's, it's not about censorship. It's about understanding these could be things that need to be behind paywalls. If you want to do it, go put it behind a paywall. Make people pay for it. Don't put it on a general platform and don't get monetized for doing it. Because she said quite clearly that she's an eater and she makes thousands of dollars a month by doing that type of content. So YouTube just literally pays for her food addictions. And because it's food and not rugs, then she's able to think that she can be comfortable in putting that content out. Again, uh, I've had someone say, um, you know, about she's always so smug and obnoxious because she really believes she's untouchable. She's a danger to others and should be completely removed from YouTube, in my opinion. Well done for reporting her. Somebody else says, I've been reporting them as well. No movement from YouTube, unfortunately. Yeah, they just don't. Other people, great job, Ray. I support you on these kinds of videos. We all knew this and her proud statement will never go away. Thanks for bringing attention to this. Thank you. She needs to be deplatformed again. Um, so somebody wants to know if she wasn't doing her behaviors, why would they, you know, take it down? I think because she was, you know, raging and saying some really vile things about, and she talked about people's children, which is like top, that's a hands off girl. I don't care how angry you are at people. You do not bring people's children into a conversation. You are a grown woman, supposedly, though I think you're, in my opinion, stunted at a certain age that's quite young from your behaviors and how you baby talk and how you interact with people and your parasocial relationships with your audience. It's, 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 it, it has a level of toxicity that is not very good. Um, and then other people, bravo, thank you, thank you. We all have to try to sleep at night with a clear heart. It was really a no-brainer that you had to start reporting. Yeah, and I was more concerned about her, you know, the other channels that react who maybe are getting their livelihoods from her, you know, reacting to her content. And then at the end of the day, my role as a creator in girl world is less than my role as a healthcare professional. And that's what superseded everything at the end of the day. I'm not, people always say, oh, you'll kill your channel, you'll this, that, and the other. It's not really the reason why I'm here. I've always been here to call people out who I think are giving out medical misinformation, which she does regularly, or could potentially harm and trigger those who are vulnerable. So that's that's my concern. Chantelle is not my concern. I am not concerned for this person whatsoever. I really am not concerned for her. Um, <laughs> somebody said um, they got an ad for Weight Watchers. Good. <laughs> Chantelle has truly gotten away with some very disturbing and dangerous content for a very long time. I was shocked when she got her channel back after that Omegle incidents. She shouldn't have, in my honest opinion. The energy around her is even darker now, if possible, and glorifying EDs is beyond the beyond. Yeah, it's beyond the pale, literally. She will not stop until YouTube chooses to stop her. Thank you so much. As a healthcare provider, aren't you a mandated reporter? Yes, but it's a little different when obviously dealing with social media. But now I'm reporting. Um, somebody said, that, a lot of people just said, thank you. Thank you. I agree. Why does YouTube allow mukbangs on the platform? It's obviously against their terms of service. There's got to be a way to snap YouTube out of its funk. I mean, just people saying that they're done with watching Chantel. 
They are done with her destroying her body. Um, that just, you know, a lot of that, somebody else said to move on. I'm like, well, I've kind of moved on about caring about her, but trying to get her triggering dangerous content off. No, no, I'm not done with that. You know, and obviously they, that pizza video was just, just my potentially was just my final straw. All right, guys, <laughs> there's me up there. Okay. Why do I need me twice? I don't need me twice. <laughs> Let me get back to foodies tab just so you can see. So congratulations on the rebrand, Chantel. Um, let's see what you decide to change it to. I haven't seen a recent video release from her. I don't know if she's packing and, and trying to prepare for her next visa run because that's coming up very soon. Uh, why she's laying low, what she's got planned, how she's going to try to manipulate her audience, what illness is she going to say she has, what uh, non-diagnosed sciatica is she going to complain about? Um, I, You know, it's just what will she use to try to manipulate her audience back to her um, and keep her, you know, on her side. And you could think I'm just a hater channel. I don't really think I'm a hater channel. <laughs> but, I mean, there's always everybody is allowed their opinions. And that's part of being an adult is, you know, taking – all types of criticism, whether it's good or bad. So anyway, apologize for being a, an avatar again. Um, I don't know if I remember to wish every dad out there happy Father's Day, but if you are a dad and you're a good dad, happy Father's Day. Sarasota Tim, that does not include you. <laughs> anyway, let me just bring up all my um, branding at the end of the day, um, just to you know make sure I'm doing my job. But uh, yeah, if you do like this type of content, this was a little bit more serious again, do make sure you subscribe, hit the likes, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about her current rebrand. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. And just as always, I want to thank those who are members of my channel, who support me and uh, give me an opportunity to continue with making this content so that I can call these things out so that I can continue through my grad school studies um, towards being a mental health nurse practitioner. Don't have much longer left in school. And so uh, can't wait to actually be able to uh, do my job uh, more than just uh, being a talking head on YouTube. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. It won't be long. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do next, but uh, this just came up. So this was a quick one. All right. Thank you. Bye.